Hello, folks, and welcome to the game where every table tops a stage, and we are merely players. Merely players. Merely players. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Max Aspen, and I'm your GM today, which means we're in Soretta, but still not as you know. We have our new band of spin off adventurers, our newbies to the world and to the game of DD itself. And here they are. To my left, we have. Uh, Rebecca playing Gregory Pebble. Nice, Rebecca. Chaya playing Ray Kerr. Nice to Chaya. Romana playing Cricket. And lastly but not leastly, Tom playing Dean D. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, we'll give a little recap of last session of last week. It's weird having Soretta after Soretta after Soretta. Um, and then we'll jump straight back in to the source of that mysterious knocking noise. Last we left off, our lovely little group of Inquisitors were inside this bungalow house in Helicos, this horrible, dank, dingy place. Two of the party, uh, Ray and Dean, heading to what turned out to be the library slash study, investigating, looking at the, uh, the fireplace because plumes were outside, but this fireplace was cold. Um, Ray found nothing. However, Dean, looking for a secret door in bookshelves, throwing books all over the place, was able to pick up the idea of um, what kind of study this family were after, looking into transmutation and translocation, and kind of sharing this knowledge together. Ray kind of having a history of knowing how much this exists in the world as being something that hasn't been studied quite as much. They stayed in the library whilst over the corridor, Cricket was unsuccessful looking in the kitchen, <laughs> noticing that this thing was horribly barren with mushrooms growing out. They didn't get any luck uh, having maybe passed by understanding what was in here when they did their initial scouting around the outside, calling in Gregory for help, who noticed uh, a precious or a special powder, not poisonous per se, but emanating some sort of aura they didn't quite understand, and finding a little mouse friend who hasn't been any help so far, but you know... They've not been talked to. Cricket, heading out, found this attic room as they headed back into the corridor and calling to the others. Ray, heading up, found this was the bedroom of a young child, about nine to ten, finding some drawings which, on f actual interrogation, looked quite... There was a figure that kept popping up and your eyeline moving from this mysterious figure in these drawings to a broken salt or some sort of material circle which you all tied together to the the stuff that Gregory found in that tiny little barrel and headed back downstairs. Investigating the final room, you saw another bedroom, the parents' bedroom, academic clothes in the wardrobe and an unbroken circle. After seeing Dean jump on the bed of the child, Gregory was like, well, nothing happened, so let's, let's try exactly the same. Jumping on the bed through this unbroken circle, you suddenly heard a dush, 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 knocking coming from back out in the hallway. And that's where we pick up. What do you all want to do? Do we all hear the knocking? You all hear the knocking. All hear the knocking. Ah. Okay. And it keeps going. As you're thinking, it's quite a regular... Okay. Are we still upstairs? Did you all come down? No. I think you're still upstairs. I think the yeah. two of us are still upstairs, right? Yeah, sorry, Jumping we on the bed. as in Dean and Ray. Yeah, Dean, Dean and Ray, Ray. still upstairs. Yes. Yeah, you can be. Um... It's still jumping on the bed, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> it could just be you. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm just going to get out my dagger just in case. Cool. Arm yourself. Yeah. Cricket like brings up her fists and kind of peeks out from the bed. Bedroom door? I, I've completely forgot how to speak. <laughs> oh, my God. Cricket peeks out of the bedroom door Amazing. into the hallway. Cool. You're looking at the hallway and this rhythmic <laughs> is still going on and it's to your right, towards the kitchen. But as you kind of look around, you peek further. Mm -hmm. Like, my head around, is fully, like, popped out into the hallway. Yeah, there's a level of confusion in the fact that there is a new sort of opening, a new corridor between the kitchen and the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Your understanding as you walked in was that the two rooms connected to each other, but now there is a little corridor, and as you see a staircase descending down into what you can understand to be the basement, which is where the <laughs> is coming from. Right. We run. Should we run to it? Let's face the demons. We could find clues. 
Down there. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 bloody go. Let's, I'm just, char- let's just charge. Let's yeah. just charge forward. Do we just run for it? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going with uh, Let's go. <laughs> After being so cautious in the first <laughs> the first story of this dungeon. <laughs> It's going to be that spooky it's man. An ominous knocking, I'm scared so it's that spooky man. It. It's okay. that spooky man from the drawings. That's what I'm scared yes. of. You all head downstairs. Dean and Ray joining the party. Yeah. Yes. Um, as we run, can I check for traps kind of as we go? As we you run. can. And I'm a with your dungeon delver. delver feet, you can do with advantage if hey. you wish. So Max, explain to me what that means. Well, advantage, uh, in the same as we've had the help action, um, advantage is you roll your d20 twice and mm. you take the higher. Mm. Amazing. And what modifier do I apply? Uh, your investigation modifier. All the right questions. Look at these Ooh, guys. Oh, pretty good. But it, is that a six? 18. 18. Did you roll that twice? 18. Uh, no, just once. Ooh. And a 13. So, so I'm going to take... 18 plus? 18 plus it's strong zero. Good enough. Sick. As you head down, uh, there, this area doesn't seem to be trapped. You're pretty confident with your, with your stealth roll, with your investigation roll, that there is no okay. trap in this place. Cool. Right, so... Are you heading first, Cricket? Um, um, I uh, yeah. Sure. You have no armour, so I feel like you shouldn't. Me too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can I... So one, when I discovered the thing, I went, Gregory! Gregory! And then... <laughs> just pushing Gregory forward in front of everyone. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> well, no, I just wanted... I, so, How about? story time. I was just like, Gregory, come take a look. And then Gregory charges just past just. me. Okay. And I was like, ah, okay, we're going. So right. um, I'm second. All right, Question fine, mark? fine. So I'm first. Oh, Holding the mouse die. out in front, <laughs> just in case. You're like pretty confident. in their minds. <laughs> As, yeah, you head down the stairs, it's dark, and they start to wrap back on themselves. And the layout, the architecture of this house, you're not going anywhere that doesn't look like already existed in this house. Mm. It just seems like this place opened itself up to you and is seemingly <laughs> beckoning you in. As you descend down the staircase, it, there are torches lighting the way it's still the kind of dim light there is something in the back of your head is wondering if this place has been abandoned for as long as you think maybe not now you're hearing this noise how are these torches still Mm. lit you are in a storeroom boxes piled high quite a squat floor but it's stone on the bottom like wooden trusses kind of holding the place up this is clearly in the foundations of this bungalow this is the room you're met with there are barrels of undiscernible stuff there are boxes with like clothes hanging out of them and at the as you come down to your left on the wall there are just like loads of larger kind of cases and and boxes and barrels all just piled on top of each other it's clearly a storeroom cool does my my trap investigation check carry over it will carry through for this entire bit you're confident there are amazing no traps. Mm. every um, so often you like <laughs> you jump in front of Gregory just to give a quick scan and just like, <laughs> jump back behind him and there are no doors anywhere not that you can see but All behind right. the, Ooh, the uh, yeah I, well just he's very excited about secret doors secret doors <laughs> <laughs> secret doors behind the big pile no can we can we knock that down yeah and while we're knocking it down opening what the pile of there's, Big pile of cases and yeah, boxes. Yeah, we can like cases. open things while we're yes, knocking it down, yes. right? Because maybe Double there's whammy. someone stuck inside. <laughs> Ooh. Who knows? Yeah, where's this knocking coming from? Can we find that yet? We don't know yet. As you reach this bottom floor, it stops. Ooh. There's just an eerie silence. Mm. Creepy. No, is, is it eerie. time to talk to my mouse yet? Oh, I feel no. This mouse might not know anything. I have to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't think it's going to know anything, but maybe it would. Because I just, I, I, I don't know. How many spell slots do you have? I think one more. I don't know. Well, how many does it say on your character sheet? At the other side, it will tell you how many per level of spell you have. Oh, I see. Yeah, so on the top of that, it says four. So yeah. you have three more oh. uses of level one spells you can do. Oh, well, I may as well. I, I mean, I've also got an animal friendship one that I can... Yeah, I've got animal... But I can speak with this animal. Ah. Animal friendship is more if there's like a creature that's hostile to you, you can calm oh. it down with the spell. So I can't speak to animals. Unfortunately not. I feel like I want to ask this mouse if it knows if it's been... Mm, I don't know, because I don't want to ask it something and then it's Where like... Where has it been? Yeah, but it's been around, isn't it? It's yeah, got yeah, its yeah, own network, like, isn't it? Do you know, yeah, so what should I... Wait, I need help with what I should ask mm. this mouse. 
Do we get how many questions do we get? I don't know. Is it like a genie? It will say uh, on your spell card. It's a certain amount of time. I think it's uh, ten minutes. Uh, oh. Ten minutes. Oh, it's you can ask. Ages. You can have a, a, a whole, whole conversation. What does right, it say? Yeah. Well, let's just do it then. It says you gain you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration of uh, ten minutes. The knowledge and awareness of beasts is limited by their intelligence, but at least they can give you information on nearby locations, monsters, and maybe certain secrets. You may also be able to convince the beast to perform a small favor okay yes it's de- i'm gonna yeah. definitely 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 do amazing that. how what it says at the top it says the length of time or duration yeah no, 10 minutes 10 minutes it yeah. is 10 minutes cool nice uh cool so i, I want to speak with my little mouse cool you pull out your little mouse okay you cast you or how do you cast your spell rebecca i what do you do i i i do a little motion with my hand above its head mm-hmm. in a little swirl amazing and as you're kind of as you're swirling your hands around this mouse, its kind of eyes are following everything that goes. Its head is like rotating. And as it's going almost as if its tongue is loosened and mm. the air around it just starts to comprehend itself and you start to comprehend it, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Can I just on a bake? That was like a lot. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, right. Jesus, <laughs> fuck. I didn't fucking. What? <laughs> Are you all right? Are you okay? It just goes back to his chin. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know, get a lady. I'm a little bit freaked out about all this, to be honest. Okay, well, I'm the, I'm the cheese giver, so... No, just, I know you're okay. the fucking cheese giver. Right, great. <laughs> okay, we've got ten minutes. Okay, I apologise so... to all of my okay. friends who might be listening to this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> I realise a lot of us are from Glasgow, uh-huh. and so maybe people from Scotland will hear this one. Anyway. Um, what's your name? My name? I've not actually had a name... All right, okay, well, I'm going to call you Pebble Junior. Um. I like it. <laughs> okay, Pebble. PJ. P- P- PJ, fine. <laughs> um, um, right, so have you been here before in this room, in this specific room? In this room? Mm. Uh, sometimes I'm allowed to come down here. Sometimes I, I kind of... I used to have I used to have like a little tunnel that would lead down from the kitchen down here, and, and then at one point it just kind of stopped working. Oh. And then occasionally I'm allowed in, but then I'm not. When so. you say allowed... Is there someone who lets you? No, it just no, no. sometimes connects, sometimes, sometimes doesn't. it doesn't. Mm, okay. And is it ever like to do with it being night or day or any kind of, is it just random? I'm going to make an intelligence check for PJ. Oh, yeah. I mean, now you come to think of it, it it's, it's usually when the people are sleeping, so. Okay. So at night, so that's when you can come down. Aye. So at night, this room appears. Hmm. Um, Anything else? I, I, I kind of like this idea of being able to like communicate with a, yeah, a, yeah. a bigger. All right, kind let, me, of let person. me just let me just consult. Does anyone have an idea Goes of what I should ask? Yeah. Well, any any all, questions all, for the mouse? All you guys are hearing is. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so just to, just to quickly update you, that he can come down into this little room only Who? at night. The little mouse, my little mouse PJ. <laughs> Hello. Does he does he does he know about the bits? So there's no other people here. No? Oh, okay. So uh, PJ, hey. um, did you? know the family that lived here oh hey yeah they were a lot of very busy i like a lot of, uh, um it, it studied a lot headed out did some uh, you know, yeah. dragged some stuff down here for a little bit and then they disappeared a couple of months back so what stuff did they drag all the stuff that we can see around us well the the, the mum uh would come down and uh yeah some of the stuff you can around us not all of it's here though uh you'd bring it down and then this room used to be bigger oh well, who's got the picture of the man me can i have it and, okay. it out and, like... and then I showed the picture to the mouse and I go, do you recognise... That's a very talented little kid that drew that one, eh? Yeah. Do you recognise the horrible face? Mm, history check for PJ. <laughs> no, not necessarily. I remember the, the people around the family, though. So Yeah, OK. Mm. Can you ask it what happened to the daughter? What happened to the daughter, PJ? I don't know. No. They just all suddenly know. disappeared. They all suddenly disappeared, okay. Do you know anything about the dust? Oh, yes. Do you, have you, you know this, uh, the dust that's, there's one in the kitchen, there's some of the bedrooms. Yeah, he kind of, as you like present this dust, he looks at it mournfully and a tiny little mouse tear. <gasps> he was like, well, my husband would, uh, he went out scavenging for food and he bought back some of this and he tried some of it and... I lost them. No. As in, did he did he die or did he disappear? No, he uh, he, he ate it and he passed away. Oh. In his sleep, just off you go. Oh, I'm so sorry, PJ. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> I'm not sure I quite like this. 
any more of this. this it's is all right. Here's, here's another little cool. bit I just of cheese. Wouldn't eat it. Just hit, have a little bit of cheese. Thanks. I'm sorry about that. Okay. He, like, very methodically wipes his hand after touching the dust okay. and then goes back to his cheese. Okay. Is there. Do we think PJ knows anything about what in this. Oh, God, I can't speak today. What... Oh, is there. Oh, PJ. Hey. Do you know if there's another entrance out of this room that isn't upstairs? Well, as I say, this room used to be bigger. Uh. It's over there. And he kind of like mouse points with his nose towards where the blocks are like on the wall. Okay. Um, like, ah. And as you kind of, your attention is drawn over, you see there are vines Ooh. growing out of it. You will need to make an investigation check with that because it kind of comes with the, the knowledge from this mouse friend. Okay. Um, yeah, from the wall wrapping around what these boxes are. Okay. All right. Thanks, PJ. You can go back to your cheese. I said, I mean, we've still got... Don't know how I can comprehend time at the moment. We've got, si- <laughs> got six minutes if you want another little ladder. Well, about why, why don't we investigate and then if we need another yeah. chat, this, but we have to be quick. Did the banging as well? Oh, yeah, sorry, PJ. Just Hi. a minute ago, there was like a banging. It was just bang, what? bang. <laughs> it was banging. <laughs> <laughs> there was someone thumping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear it? I can't say I did, no. Oh, you didn't so, hear it at all? No, I'd, I'd recommend a thumping or a banging. <laughs> I've lived in this house a long time. What about knocking? A knocking? No knocking. No knocking. Okay, no, there, uh, the mouse did not hear it. Can you knocking. ask him if... Pulls out his thesaurus to like <laughs> talk about these, <laughs> these synonyms. <laughs> If there's like any other like unusual sounds that he's heard or like anything that before the before or after the family left that he noticed. Was there any weird sounds... Before or after the family left, that were unusual. Occasionally, okay, like um, well, from down here actually, a couple of, a couple of months ago, um, there was <laughs> there was a, a big uh, actually not a couple of months ago. There was one a couple of weeks back as well. Now that I come to think of it, there was like a big kind of woof, woof, Ooh. and then uh, there, nothing. Okay, no Ooh. banging per se, but a, a thump. Is is has a has a, 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 a with a double you maybe. <laughs> has, has the mouse ever seen anyone that isn't the That's family in this house? Happy. Oh yeah, is there uh, PJ? Sorry. PJ, is there anyone else in this house now? Apart from the four of you? No. No. Okay. Has there been uh, since the family left? No. Oh, uh, there were two weird ones who kind of came down, and then I hadn't seen them leave. So. Oh. They, okay, so there like were two people. An older one and a younger one. An old one and a young one came in and they have not left. They came down here. They came down then, here. Oh. Actually, that was about the same time as the fourth. All right, that's <laughs> probably who's... They're probably trapped. Or... That's who we're looking for, that's right? We're, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> definitely that's who That's got to be who we're looking for. All right, okay. That was very helpful, PJ. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, we should do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, right. PJ. I haven't had a lot to talk about or someone to talk to since... <laughs> oh. He goes back to his cheese. Okay. <laughs> Um, so we need to look at where the mouse uh, nodded to in his mousy way. Yes. Uh, who wants to do that? <laughs> in my mousy way. Oh. I wouldn't say the way you went right. in your dwarven right. way, would I? Calm That's down. Gonna... <laughs> Calm down, PJ. Eat your cheese. <laughs> You've got three minutes of a mouse being on over here, what you're saying. <laughs> I'll do that. If, like, with my, with my dungeon... Checking for traps with your dungeon delver food. Dungeon delver food, yes. Of course. Um, can, would somebody, like, want to give me... I already have it. You already have it. You don't need the I don't advantage. Need... Yeah, so you can check for it. You can investigate for, like, levers and stuff. Well, mm. yeah, I'm just going to go to the wall mm-hmm. and, like, um, ha- have a look. Go for it. Make me an investigation check. That's your d20 twice and take the higher. That is eight. And a ten. Plus, Plus your investigation. zero, which Plus is... zero. So a ten. Ten. It's, uh, it's difficult. I would say as you kind of go up towards these uh, these areas and these boxes, you don't see like a switch which opens it, but after PJ kind of pointed the direction of the vines, you do see and you do feel like some gap. There is some air kind of escaping from where these vines, almost reaching out onto the wall, exist. Right. No lever to open it, but you are certain there's a passageway behind it. Okay. Hmm. Can I like try to like put my hand in the cracks and like try and see if I can move any of the 
blocks. What yeah, is this wall made out of? You can make me uh, what we call an athletics check, mm. which is, again, using your d20. Yes. How st- it uses strength. How strong are you? You can also that aid is, if someone else wants to help. I mean, I have a 12 strength. So okay. that's a plus one modifier. I roll a 15. So 16. 16 was the DC. And DC, by DC, I mean I set in my head, and that means what you need to match or beat mm. to succeed at something. Mm. So, so just... hey <laughs> You just manage, kind of, whilst um, Gregory's talking to PJ, so you grab his, um, like, druid staff, start using that to, like, lever open. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to... Oh, you were busy, I'm sorry. You hear the cracking I of vines small. that are almost trying to hold this thing closed mm. as you... Mm. And some of the blocks... Not so much individually, but as part of almost a door. Right. Taking all of the glory away from Dean and finding secret passages. Oh, you kind oh. of pull <laughs> these blocks all together as this door opens up, leading down a very excavated, less kept stone tunnel. Mm. Great. Well done, Cricket. Now put it back so I can discover it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Is there any light down there? In this yep. door. Okay. Again, the torch sconces are still. Ah, cool, lit. Cool, 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 cool. See, that's actually that's exactly the, the, the yeah that was okay. They covered oh. that up. That was as big as the room used to be. Mm. Yeah. Wait, so when did that get blocked up, PJ? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Okay, no. Fair. Concept of time is a fleeting thing. But fleeting was it when thing. the family time. were here? Time. What's time? What, PJ. Focus. Time is very focus. Kind of concept. Now Fo- that I have PJ. Some, sorry. sorry? <laughs> <laughs> was it while the family was here? I know. Yes, yeah, it was. Uh, okay. Yeah, they used to come down here quite a lot. Oh, maybe I mainly saw it when it was open and when the mum would walk through and then actually you now you got to mention it yeah it would close quite a lot and open up and close oh. every time she wanted to come in and down she'd be carrying stuff and then she'd take it down and then she'd maybe bring other things back or maybe just... oh no okay my spells oh. run out oh um, so... what do you mean he sounded like that the whole time I know I never... <laughs> he was just waffling on don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> no something about the mum used to come in and out of this uh, this door oh. Well, oh and the room used to open up and close off a lot so what should we do <laughs> should we just I go in I think there's only one thing to do yeah, yeah. give me my yeah. staff Char- back <laughs> here we go <laughs> down further you were busy you yeah, yeah. Just... I rescind the charge though that was uh, that was for comedic <laughs> purposes <laughs> oh oh no that doesn't exist here Tom <laughs> when you say something you stand by the offer <laughs> funny <laughs> though right <laughs> funny though eh Awesome. You head down this passageway. Same order as last time? Sure, sure. Gregory being pushed out front every sure. so often. Cricket checking for traps? Yep. Make me an investigation check with advantage for traps. That's a 12. And a 4. Um, so 12 plus 12 investigation. Plus zero. plus zero. I have no investigation skills whatsoever. Okay. As you're walking down, uh, odds or evens, Rebecca? This is just to discern who's walking in front at the time of okay. something happening. E- e- evens. So if it's evens, it's Romana. It's Cricket who's in front. If it's odds, it's Gregory who's in front. Evens. So Cricket, who's checking for traps, as you kind of rush in front of Gregory, just like, oh, it's time to do this. You kind of feel your foot catch on <gasps> something as it's like, Ding! how close are you all together? I'm pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I would say, do we staggered. do we do like a so whenever I stop you to go and check for trap? No, no, no. This is what he just rolled for. You have to be in front. <laughs> no, no, exactly. So I stop you and I check for trap. Oh, I see. But yeah. like, how far back do you? You two stay? would be close together. We're pretty close. Okay. How close are Dean and Ray? Oh, we're having a good old nut at the back. Yeah. <laughs> cool. As you kind of cricket, kind of checking for traps, going to so head a little bit. To push you into in front of you me. Were. Was, no, yeah. no, don't put this on me. I was trying to be like, don't oh, worry. What if I stopped you really far back? Don't worry, guys. It's an error oh, effect. You're that's fine. Nice. Uh, <laughs> as you kind of you see, just suddenly it's like ding, as like a trip wire as your foot kind of pushes forward, um, and there's this of some sort of dust and smoke uh, as this gaseous cloud kind of encompasses you cricket for sure and gregory kind of being a little far back it still encompasses you but you don't get quite as much as it ray and dean are able to like jump back just in time i need cricket to make me a new thing a constitution saving throw how do i do that max it's a d20 roll as everything is (laughs) and at the top of your character sheet you will see things that say saving throws yes 
Hello, uh, Leaf here, back again to explain to you what a saving throw is. Now, in basic terms, which is all my little leafy brain understands, a saving throw is simply an enforced ability check that the DM throws your way when you stumble across a trap, or, say, it's to stop a nasty spell taking effect, any poisons taking effect, or if you just drink too much at a tavern, just to see how drunk you might get. Now, just like a normal check, you roll your d20, but you add your saving throw modifier. It could be a plus or a minus, depending how good at stuff you are. And the DM matches that against what they've decided the DC, or the number you need to meet or beat, is to succeed. And if you succeed, you're fine. And if you don't, well, something nasty might happen. Oh, bye! I have a nine. <laughs> Plus one. Amazing. So, so a, ten. a ten. And Gregory, I need you to make the same check, so a constitution saving throw, but with advantage. So you'll take 12. the higher. Roll it again and take the higher. Seventeen plus constitution. Yep. Three. Cool. 20. So that dirty twenty, which passes, so that's fine. And cricket, you kind of inhale this gas and you kind of feel your focus go a little bit and you're like, whoa. And there's just some sort of sway in the air, and you have disadvantage on your next roll. So you kind of take in this poisonous trap, whatever it is, doesn't do you any damage, but it just seems to mess with whatever your brain kind of function is at the time. Right. Uh, when we get to it, I'll explain disadvantage. It's the opposite of advantage. You roll a d20 twice and take the lower. Mm. And Gregory, you s shuffle it off kind of pulling into your many pockets you find the correct like antidote of whatever whatever spice is inside just your cheese. system just, just cheese you steal off PJ who seems very angry that you take his cheese away uh, and you can continue down I just go well there's some gas guys oh no back on the sauce cricket <laughs> um, so going so I guess I'm just gonna help thingy forward this yeah. thingy what's your name cricket um, <laughs> but I feel like we should check for more traps. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, Can we just do like a in? Was it perception? I've got to find traps. That sounds good. I'm running out of spells. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be investigation, but you are quite close to the end of the tunnel, oh, okay. so you got you went okay. down quite a way. It still it starts to like snake around on itself, mm. and you do see the flickering light at the end of the tunnel. Can I shoot my arrow to the end of the tunnel to see if anything happens? Ooh. Good, good idea. idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just make me an attack roll. So we take the d20 and you add whatever's added next to your bow and ah, your weapons. For, um, you will shoot, it just shows how far it goes. Plus the what's the next to the, the bow thing? Yep. Okay, so plus seven, so 11. 11, perfect. Just after Cricket kind of stumbling out the way, <laughs> slightly in their own heads, you just say, <laughs> as an arrow just looses past your head, straight down the corridor into this other room. And there's no effect. So I think we're safe. Oh, do you, do, yeah. What do people think? Do we think we're safe to go through? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Should we do? A, should someone do a perception just in case? Yeah, like, hey you can, you can, you can keep an ear out, so like someone can do a perception check just to see if they hear anything shifting. Yeah, okay. You want to? Yeah. Uh, I have minus one. Oh, okay. on perception. <laughs> so what do you? Yeah. Also, known as, I'm uh, not very good. At this. <laughs> what do I have? I've got plus four on perception. Uh, same, same. So you, okay. you do, you do, you do. Okay, okay. You can help each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's do that. What does that mean? You mean you roll twice and take the higher. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Right. 12. 12. 11, so yours. Okay, 12 plus, what did I say? Four. Four. 16. 16. Amazing, yeah. So keeping an ear out after loosing the arrow, Ray kind of takes point, and there's no real sounds there's no sounds of other people that there's no sounds of danger and you're quite savvy with traps having used them to like hunt and gather animals and stuff there's no like mechanisms it seems that cricket maybe got the main one cool all right okay i think we're safe <laughs> guys foot. <laughs> <laughs> their feet their feet <laughs> shall i lead us then down the corridor as you go let's go let's, let's go it. you continue down moving towards the light gets brighter and brighter the hue of it slightly changes from the amber of a normal flame to something a little more blue. Uh, it's like a, it's either a, a, like a hotter kind of 
flame just to magnify the light in this place because you are in a large kind of cavern you find yourself it is clearly a room there's in front of you a kind of a circular room sorry with a domed top a chandelier with these kind of blue candles emanating more light there are fewer of them but they fill the space this isn't as dingy as you once saw it it's almost like this place is designed for investigation for things to be seen and so a light source is needed and there are no other doors there are no exits to this place and your eyes those of you who are in the library ray and dean you see there's another blackboard there's another chalkboard um a desk with some scattered papers but the things that you notice the most are these three separate dais there's a small pillar in front of you as you exit with a small bowl on it in the middle a larger dais with two like silver hands reaching up to hold something that is no longer there and opposite that so the third one along is a similar smaller dais with another little bowl with vines wrapped around embossed to hold something mm. no sign of any movement or any noises this feels like some kind of puzzle mm. <laughs> instantly you hear <laughs> on the blackboard <laughs> <laughs> Yet again, covering resist. up any information that might be on this blackboard. <laughs> um, so we've got the three dioceses, two bowls with hands. Mm-hmm. Well, one with uh, one bowl with hands, which is in the very middle. Okay. Or just just hands, sorry, with something to be slotted on top. You can discern, and then two bowls either side. And we can pick up what there's stuff in the bowls. You can have a little look. Should we yeah. look at the bowls? Should we look at the bowls? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 let's look at the bowls. Cool. Yeah. As you go in to have a look at the bowls, the one closest to the place you entered from is filled with ash. Mm. Um, and the one which has the vines, which is the third one along, has nothing in it. And the hands isn't holding anything. The hands isn't holding anything. Can we have a look around to see if there might Ooh. be anything that it might hold? Um. I was going to say, just to get this into every episode, can Cricket do like a really groggy Kim Possible shuffle around the room yeah. investigating <laughs> the investigation check. What, what's happening? So, Dean, you can make an investigation check. Cricket, because of your poison, you make it with disadvantage. Yes. So, Dean, roll me an investigation check with a d20 and then add your investigation modifier. That is a five plus one. A six. Amazing. Bloody hell. The flames are blue. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, That's if you want to do cricket, if you want to roll it twice and then take the lower. <laughs> it's great when you rely on the dice to like progress the story, isn't it? Yeah. I got a four, but a zero. A four and a six. Amazing. <laughs> Kim Possible Shuffle, absolutely nothing. You find you're kind of going along and you're this time because... Sorry, guys, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> Because you messed up with the kitchen last time, you're like Kim Possible shuffling, but like facing the wall as you go. <laughs> and so you shuffle around with your nose barely pressed against the brickwork and like the <laughs> the excavated stone. Um, Me what and were you Ray investigating, Dean? Like, to the see the if there was there? anything it, I could put in the hands. In the hands. How has this happened? <laughs> okay. You, you kind of look around there at desks and stuff. You look under desks or like through the... Uh, the drawers and you can't seem to find anything there's a lot of stuff that might fit in the hands they kind of make a bowl themselves but you kind of just throw stuff in there and try and it doesn't seem to be the thing that okay. missing uh. you two Ray and Gregory just see these two people one just goes basically walking around licking the walls and the other one just pilfering after scratching on the chalkboard pilfering through drawers of this desk um, Gregory and I have a secret meeting <laughs> We leave. <laughs> do we really need these guys? Idiots. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ray, what do you want to do? What are we going to do about these two? <laughs> okay. So maybe we should have a look around, Ourselves, just in yes. case. Yeah. yeah. So, so shall I roll and you help? Yes. Let's do that. Okay. Can we do that, please? Yes, you can do that. <laughs> An investigation check with advantage, please, Gregory. Okay. Nine. Nine. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Six. <laughs> okay, so Not nine so smart. plus uh, what is it again? Investigation. Um, we just did the two. <laughs> so eleven. I'm sorry. <laughs> How much does the DM need to pull down the DC for success? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're just really unobservant, Max. Yeah, what do you yeah. want from us? As you're kind of shuffling around, Gregory, uh, you see Dean like throwing stuff out of. Uh, he's actually pulling the drawers out of the desks and as he pulls one of the drawers out he throws it you see under 
the desk seems to have has rolled this with your 11 because this is a necessary piece of the puzzle. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> See this spherical orb that has rolled off. And as you kind of look down and kind of got to get it, you see that there is this, around these three dioceses, is almost a shockwave of dust. <gasps> as if this thing has... and then rolled off. Okay. Right, so we need to get this and put it in the hands. Yeah. Through your legs, Dean, Gregory grabs the thing that you're so desperately looking for. <laughs> okay, yeah, I grab it and I put it in the hands. Don't be not so fast. I'm, I'm still looking. <laughs> cool. Budget, put it in the hands, and it sits in the hands very comfortably. It, right. You are pretty sure this was designed for the hands. Okay. And nothing <laughs> happens? Anything happens? No. Okay, well, I think you... I think maybe there needs to be something in the other bowl that's empty with the vines on it. You maybe, because bowls. the other one has ash in it. Yeah, is that is the ash is this is that the same as this dust that we're finding everywhere? I don't think so. No, is the ash? It's not. As you like, kind of pull the two together. This one is clearly some sort of like, it's a. Having worked with torches before, it's not the ash of a torch. It is almost like the residue of a burnt candle. It's not like human ashes. Not human ashes. Have you found any candles? (laughs) In your own (laughs) rummaging. What did you roll? (laughs) What did you roll? A six. No. No, I, I just sort of threw everything. I didn't even. I forgot what I was doing. Basically, <laughs> I'll have a look around. You, threw everything, you did throw everything, didn't you? Yeah. What are your passive perceptions, Gregory and Ray? It will say it. So it's ten plus your perception modifier. Four. Four plus ten, so yours is fourteen. Same, same. Two fourteens. Good enough. With <laughs> <laughs> the roundabout way for a DM to try and get you to find the things, with Dean just throwing stuff around, one of the drawers looses, and you see candles start to kind of tumble out. All right, cool. All right. cool. So we need to Four. put we need to put a candle in Four each candles. of those bowls. Mm-hmm. Light them, yeah. I'm guessing. Okay. Let's uh, try it. Wait. Do we have anything to light? You'll all have like a general we'll like, all have a little pouch. Ma- Okay, cool. Yeah. Like let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put a candle in each bowl. Mm-hmm. And light it. Mm-hmm. Agreed? Agreed. How big is this room? It's quite big. It's probably about Agreed. 60 foot across. So as this conversation is happening, Cricket is still in the background. Kim Possible Shop. <laughs> okay, cricket, 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 come off the wall. <laughs> come off the wall. We've discovered something. Well, you, I, we okay. might all need to, I don't know, be in the middle of the room. I don't know. I, I don't know. Goes, huh? yeah. <laughs> cool. Which bowl are you putting the candle in? Both so of the other two? Yeah. Amazing. You kind of put one in each and you light them. Mm-hmm. As you, th- you light them, there's this beautiful, like, uh, emerald green flame that kind of just emanates from them both and you see the crystal start to glow itself as if they're like bringing the light in and it kind of and it starts to glow and just reflects or refracts out the lights it's taking as if so one comes in from one direction and it gets shot out the other one comes in from one direction and it gets shot out the other oh I know what this can be both new things hit the other dais if that makes sense. Yeah. So the lights for the candles are magnifying the light onto the other dice. Mm-hmm. And nothing happens. And nothing happens. All right, I reckon it's going to be like, you know, in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> in one of the good video games. Yep. What is to Harry change Potter? The... Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're not allowed to do that. <laughs> like Who Lord of the Rings. That? <laughs> now that I'm familiar with. <laughs> I reckon we need to angle these lights to point out something. So, okay, yeah. should we take like one each? Yeah. But hang on, we need to look at what. They need <laughs> is to there point not out. also a third bowl that is empty? That's, but no, no, we put the ball in that. Did we? So you filled the ash bowl with a candle. Yes. The orb is in the center one, which yes. is being held by the hands. Yes. And the third one with the vines on it, you put another candle. Yeah. Ah. Oh. We, so do we shoot them at the orb? These lights. They are shooting at the orb. The orb is almost like. Bring, bring the light to it and oh, refracting and then, so pushing it out to the causing di- a silhouette of the diocese oh, what that, if the light points at the vines will it burn the vines off should we try it I don't know lights Max are, smiled so, <laughs> the light's already pointing at that thing oh okay so never mind so it's almost oh, are yeah. there... make me all of you make me an insight check god oh, because this goes so well where is my what would you roll Tom four Oh, plus amazing. a one, so that's five. A, a big five. I rolled an eight plus a eight. zero. Cool. <laughs> I rolled a three. Oh, plus come on, Ray. Plus a four. I so wrote ten plus four. Fourteen. Oh, <laughs> All these is basically a critical success. <laughs> 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 
it's everyone is ad- look at the floor. Everyone's admiring the handiwork of these beautiful <laughs> dioceses, apart from Ray. <laughs> Flame's still blue. Who notices <laughs> that <laughs> these walls are so intricate looking. Who notices that the projection like the, the light that's projecting is projecting you couldn't really see it when facing back into the entrance that you came from, because you have the entrance. However, facing back to the wall, you see the as the light It's a great wall. It's a lovely wall. But there are some things that you're not noticing that Ray is. <laughs> But when this green light kind of projects onto the vine's dais, it silhouettes the back wall, almost like a projector. Mm. And with that insight check, you can kind of discern that the energy that's going in isn't activating the right thing. The candle is the light source, the candle is the power, but you seem to need some sort of key, if that makes sense. So the flame is the power. Yeah. The crystal magnifies it. Mm. Mm. It but just has to... nothing to unlock yet. So we yeah. need to see what where where we're shooting, where we need to shoot the or light. Or what at. is in the third dais. You can understand that the candle is in the right place. Mm-hmm. The first one. Yeah. You don't uh, need a candle in the third. Uh, <sighs> okay, so I go and move one of the candles into the one with the ash. There's no. one already in there. So, so the, just get rid of so one. So we just don't need it. Oh, so You've just, just got the wrong thing in the third thing. Oh, okay, okay. So take the candle out of the one without the ash. Cool. Great. Okay, so the we, vines themselves we... start glowing, but it's still incomplete. Okay, okay. We need something in the vines one. What else have we found? Is there something, anything like organic or plant-like? Or like a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> but it's dead. But um, oh. I mean, we could try. PJ. Let's sacrifice oh, PJ. Oh my no, we can't. God. We can't sacrifice <laughs> PJ. <laughs> can we try Leaf before we sacrifice All PJ? Right. I'm, gonna, I'm I'm hopefully like I'm not hopeful. <laughs> I'm gonna put Leaf in there. I'm a bit sad about it because it's like my memories gonna, and my past. And... I'm gonna make a Constitution check for Leaf to see how much of it turns to dust as you touch it. <laughs> No, it's it's holding still. <laughs> it's holding still. I rolled a nineteen. <laughs> it's okay. a very like kind of very dusty old kind of <laughs> crinkly old like fucking daisy as oh, you just like put it down. As you put leaf in the bowl <laughs> that's being held up by vines, it does start to do something. Something about the organic nature of <sighs> this thing is right. But as it projects onto the wall, there's like a crackle of arcane energy creating almost a doorway that tries to push through but with your insight check ray it's almost like leaf is from this plane so it's a key to this place which cancels itself out so it almost starts to unlock realizes it's bringing you to where you are and just closes again oh so we need organic is right not from the right place so we need something that's not from this realm yeah so there must have been something upstairs no i don't know um, okay, so there's nothing else in the room. What's, it's P, PJ's oh. from this realm, right? But not always. Because sometimes it, it closes. Oh, oh we're going to have to P- put PJ in. Are we going to kill a mouse? Sacrifice the mouse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to very sadly get PJ out of my pocket. We're all holding hands and like <laughs> standing around. And I'm gonna so look at him words. in the eyes, <laughs> look at him right in his beady eyes, and I know yeah. he can't understand me anymore. And then, yeah. But I'm gonna say, I'm you sorry, read Peter. nothing but trust. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I feed him one last little bit of cheese. <laughs> he looks so happy. And then, I, <laughs> and then I place him gently in the vine bowl. Amazing. And I step back, and I'm crying. <laughs> you place. <laughs> PJ into the vine bowl. Yeah. While this is happening, just... I'm going to get my lyre out and play, <laughs> play a, a soulful tune <laughs> in his honour. He sits there for a while, and as the green light hits him, almost like Christ-like, <laughs> just... <laughs> and what you see projected onto the wall isn't so much a door, but it just unlocks almost like a flicker book of memories, and you Ooh. just see two very happy mice. <laughs> <laughs> living together, going through memory after memory after memory <laughs> as, again, this light realises that um, it isn't it's getting something from this realm and so it's not a lock in the right place oh, but there is one memory 
Oh, he's fine. Oh, oh my oh, god. god. The, there's one memory in particular, which is the most recent one, and it's at the forefront of his brain, especially after your conversation of the death of his partner. And as you're transported back to the kitchen, you see as his husband's kind of running back, kind of almost like choking on whatever this powder is. Also, the encroachment of new vines and mushrooms growing up out of the oh, kitchen and everything like the that. The mushrooms. mushrooms! Okay, your mushroom or my mushroom? I, I'll do mine. I don't know why I'm worried that you're going to th- accidentally eat it. <laughs> Honestly, cricket has not proven to be the sharpest tool in the shed, so I support your decision. As a player, I support your decision. Uh, sacrifice my little uh, mushroom. Your little mushroom? Uh, get PJ out first. Oh, okay, good. Okay, put him straight back in my pocket. PJ, he's, he's like, if a mouse could like slightly tan from any sort of like magical UV, then this mouse is... is into the sunbed. I see everything. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it smiling? <laughs> um, okay, yeah. And you put your mushroom in there and there's just a crackle of arcane light as the wall of this cavern kind of just starts to cr- cr- crumble and then in slow motion, almost like an explosion, just <laughs> opens up and you are hit by a waft of fresh air, bird song lovely grass just starts like spouting out into a pathway in front of you and blue sky and light starts to hit and we'll leave it there oh, that was a good one <laughs> yes mm. so thank you guys so much for listening and we will be back next week with I think the conclusion of Ooh. our story but in the meantime head over to our Instagram to keep up to date with everything we're doing we've got some very exciting plans for the new year which is well and truly into it we're recording this in November happy bonfire night for when it happens <laughs> uh, we're racing the fireworks but yeah so head over to our Instagram to merely play as TTRPG or if you want some behind the scenes stuff like a little debrief with these guys head across to our Patreon which is patreon.com forward slash merely players and these guys will hear all of that first Jacob Cote Patrick Khan Jerry Lopez Amir Shah and Teresa Dolan and we're forever grateful for their support it really goes a long way and yeah we will see you guys next time for what is the closing episode of our new story see you later guys bye bye bye